I command it to be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive your peace tonight. I receive your peace tonight. And when I begin to pray with you tonight, your peace is going to begin to return. You're going to begin to sleep at night. You won't need any medication to sleep. Or to rest. Or to calm you down. Jesus will be your strength. And your peace. Every spirit that is hindering you and tormenting you. I speak to it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you, demon spirit. Tormenting this woman had a mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus mighty name. Come out! Out of her heart, out of her mind. Out of her fluid. Right now. Right now. Wherever you are tormenting this woman, you foul spirit, you are clean spirit. Right now. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Open your eyes, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dark is in our life. I command it be driven out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your home needs to be prayed out. There's something that comes there at certain times and attacks you. You feel it, you sense it. When that is driven out of the home, you will turn back totally normal. Surrender completely to Jesus. You want to have your wife completely back. There's a spirit in the form of a man that attacks her. In the night times, even sometimes in the day she tries to sleep. And she don't want to stay home alone. She don't want to remain at home. It's like a fear inside of her. That's true, brother. Who's time you come in here tonight? That spirit is going to be cast out, all right? The root is in the home. You get your home put out. Everything is going to come back to her. So, Jesus, love your heart. You're not up against flesh and blood. But against principalities and powers, I get the rule of the darkness. This night is not flesh and blood reveal this to me, but the Holy Ghost reveal this to me. God is healing. There's a healing service. He's healing the healing bodies, but he's healing minds and hearts. Right? Because the mind is the part of you. Satan does not only attack bodily, but he attacks mentally. When, when spirits come to attack you, trials and tribulations you think it's outside he's attacking then it's inside he's attacking he wants to break your mind and break your heart right. get you depressed and isolate you where he can torment you and have his way with you so hold on to your life don't let anything else come between you all all right what she said true there are things that she said unto you hurtful things to anger and, and suppression don't hold that against her. It was not in her own power. After she regretted it, but it was not in her own power. It was the spirits manifesting. Don't hold it against her. Turn around, hold her hands. Hold to the hands. And then ask God to come into your life and fresh and restore your love. Alright, ask Jesus. For forgiveness and to enter into your heart and your life. Open your mouth and pray. Your, 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 your words are very important. Your confession is very important.
Somebody will assist them in their prayer this way, in their confession. Father, bring the power of the Mother, let this son be safe and kept. Be healed and because I've been chained, been broken. And because I've been chained, been broken. You spirit of infirmity, you are green spirit. Come out! Right now. Lucifer! Right now. Jesus, mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, my God. Jesus, I receive your grace. I receive your grace. I want everyone to understand something tonight. Those that are here, this is only the beginning of your deliverance. Maybe you're here for the first time. And the demons have been cast out of you and God has revealed things in your life and things you have shared while coming up here. This is just the beginning. The reason for that is the entrance to satanic powers is the sins in our lives, the manifestation of the flesh. The entrance to demonic powers is when we have not surrendered to Jesus. And we have not been born again, we do not belong to him. No matter how good God wants to be to us, we do not belong to him. Amen, someone. Amen. Unless we have surrendered to Jesus. Jesus is the door to life eternal. Amen, Amen someone. Amen. So a man of God can pray and deliverance can start. But you got to do the rest. How? Your relationship with God. Your relationship with Christ. Your obedience to God's word in your life. No matter how anointed a man of God is, they, he cannot get rid of sin for you. Amen. Only you can make up your mind to inquire from heaven to receive grace to get rid of it in your life. Your hands and believe. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the healing power will flow. Every pain in our stomach, every infirmity, sickness, disease in our fluid, in our blood. You spirit of infirmity, you unclean spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.